Going to the doctor can be stressful. Take Sally here. Sally's been avoiding doctors for a while, but something in her belly is making other plans. Those plans bring Sally to Dr. Lewis's office, where a stack of forms looms like the Empire State Building, waiting to be filled out. Sally rushes through an endless parade of paperwork containing an assault of questions with tiny checkboxes. Kind of feels like doing taxes. Mm. But Sally presses on and completes her homework, thinking this is all going to help Dr. Lewis get acquainted with her condition and background. Meanwhile, Dr. Lewis is occupied with his own homework. Billing forms, order forms, pharmacy forms. Electronic health records were supposed to ease this workflow, but he spends a lifetime staring at his monitor, just filling out forms. Aww. Now he's frustrated because he doesn't have time to listen to Sally tell her own story or read her forms. In fact, he doesn't have much time for anything. But time is precious to Sally. She's in pain. She wrote War and Peace in the waiting room, and now she wants to make sure her doctor understands what she's going through. Dr. Lewis wants to be thorough, listen carefully, and ask the right questions. But another patient is already waiting in the next room. None of this is helping Sally feel better. She doesn't feel like her doctor is listening to her. She needs more information, more explanation. Her doctor has the best intentions. He wants to explain everything carefully, but his office isn't a classroom. In short, this is a mess, and it's about time we pick up a mop and clean it up. But how? For the answer, we need to reimagine how doctors and patients engage in dialogue with each other. Computers aren't supposed to make things more complicated. They're supposed to simplify the process of sharing information. We need to start using them to strengthen doctor-patient connections. Researchers at UCLA and the University of Michigan have done just that. Working with experts in patient communication and computing technology, these doctors have re-engineered the role of computers in clinical practice. After years of research, the team learned that electronic health records are helpful to billers, administrators, and the like. But to Sally and her doctor, they're not enough. They store information, sure, but they don't enhance Sally's relationship with her doctor. Using this insight as a springboard, the research team created a new system that redefines how patients and doctors connect with one another. A system custom-built by patients and doctors for patients and doctors. It's called My GI Health. Our system begins with the patient. Remember that huge stack of forms Sally rushed to fill out at the office? Now she answers carefully selected questions before she goes to see her doctor. The system is smart. It's trained to think like the world's best doctors. It considers her answers and only asks follow-up questions that will help Dr. Lewis better understand her specific illness experience. When she's done, Sally gets an easy-to-understand, personalized report that shows her how she compares with other people with the same symptoms. Meanwhile, MyGI Health instantly translates Sally's answers into doctor speak and converts them into a medical history more suited to her doctor's needs. He can then access her report no matter where he is or what other electronic health record system he uses. That means less time wasted on tedious transcription. Now when Sally comes to the office, Dr. Lewis has more time to address her specific problems rather than using precious time to gather the same information. More time to focus on, well, being a doctor. He can also show her an individualized education prescription based on her unique fingerprint of symptoms. You see, Sally has bloating and constipation. When she shared that information with MyGI Health, the system prescribed short animations, text resources, and additional web links that discuss her problems in ways she'll understand. These are no ordinary educational materials. They were created by doctors and communication experts, tested with patients like Sally, and perfected until they were clear and easy to digest. The computer isn't distracting Dr. Lewis, it's helping him to better communicate with Sally. After the conversation with his patient, Dr. Lewis decides to add additional materials to her education prescription, as simple as adding items to a shopping cart. My GI Health is a guide, but Sally and her doctor make the final decisions together. Then he sends the education prescription to her email address so she can review the materials whenever she wants, wherever she wants. She can even update her symptoms at any time so she and her doctor can both track her progress. After using My GI Health, Sally's experience with her doctor's visit has exceeded her expectations. Her doctor asked the right questions, had more time to talk, and provided more education. Dr. Lewis is also happy. My GI Health saved him time while allowing him to better serve Sally's needs. He can also move through his clinic schedule more efficiently while improving patient care at the same time. 
MyGI Health is a model for new systems to link patients and their doctors. Whatever the condition, gastrointestinal or otherwise, the system can be used to understand patients better and empower them like never before. There are other systems out there that do bits and pieces of this, but no other system brings all the pieces together to solve the puzzle. The realities of modern healthcare often pull patients and doctors apart. MyGI Health uses technology to bring patients and doctors closer together. For more information, contact us at the UCLA Center for Outcomes Research and Education and the University of Michigan Center for Health Communications Research.